Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is the course overview for this course, Query on Trees. So in this course, we are going to learn about different techniques which are used uh, to answer queries on trees. So the motivation is simple. The, uh, in the previous past time, I have seen many contests asking a uh, problem on uh, queries on trees. Like these are some of the examples in the previous time. You see the problem factor tree was asked in long challenge April 2020. And the problem, uh, this problem can be solved using Mohs algorithm, which is one of the techniques which are used to answer queries on tree. The second problem you see is Chef Quaram 2. The problem was asked in February long challenge. The problem can be uh, solved using one of the many different techniques to answer queries on tree. The third one are tree queries. Uh, it was asked in div3 this was e problem was asked in div3 round 629 and is rated 2100 on code forces the fourth problem you see uh, is maximum byte subtree again the, the problem was from div3 and was from round 627 as you see uh, this problem was from round 629 and this is from round 627 and is rated 2000. This problem can be solved using uh, a DP optimization technique on tree uh, that is called small uh, merge smaller into bigger technique, which is a DP optimization technique. So this problem and chef Coram 2 both can be uh, can be solved using uh, merge smaller into bigger technique, while the problem factor tree can be solved using Mohs algorithm. I actually do not remember how you can solve this problem using which technique but this uh, this problem can also be solved using one of the techniques that we are going to discuss in this lecture series if you see uh, the types of techniques which are used to answer queries on technique uh, or queries on trees uh, beside DFS because you can use DFS uh, there are some times when you can use TFS and some other technique to ask uh, to solve the problem which asks some queries on tree. Beside that, we have these which we uh, which we are going to discuss in this series. The first one is my smaller into bigger, which is a DP optimization technique used on tree. Uh, usually, uh, if naively implemented an algorithm. A DP algorithm which runs in n square time, like in a uh, Chef Coram 2 problem. Uh, the DP solution, solution, if you implement naively, then the overall complexity was roughly n square. But applying this optimization technique, the runtime reduces from n square to n log n. No worry about it because we would going to uh, discuss this technique in detail so if you have no idea about this technique and this is the first time you are hearing about it just don't worry we would discuss it in detail the second is Mohs algorithm now if you have already studied square root decomposition which is like a prerequisite to Mohs algorithm and Mohs algorithm is like prerequisite to uh, trees Mohs algorithm on trees in fact Mohs algorithm trees Mohs algorithm on trees is nothing but Mohs algorithm we know that we can apply Mohs algorithm in a linear uh, in an array right we have L and R we we keep a live range L and R and a global result we increment or decrement the range and accordingly the result gets updated but the tree is not a linear data structure so for that we would use ETT that is Euler's uh, Euler's tree technique or I don't actually remember the correct name of that but what we would do we run uh, we create from tree a flat tree or uh, which I call tree flattening technique or Euler's technique which is used to convert a tree using pre-order DFS traversal into an array so we would convert the tree into the array and then apply Mohs algorithm to answer the queries on tree the Mohs algorithm can be used to answer uh, queries on tree which are of both type. 
there are two kinds of queries on tree usually first which ask you to find some some answer from a to b which covers the path of a to b that is query on path but this, there is another type of query which asks you a query about a subtree so most algorithm can be used to answer both of the queries it is capable of answer of uh, answering both type of queries the queries which are uh, which are path queries and also the queries which are uh, subtree queries so we would study about this up, um, up to most algorithm i have already uh, uploaded the videos uh, there is a playlist in my channel named sqrt that is square root decomposition so in the uh, before teaching most algorithm it is important to learn square root decomposition that is why i've i've taught square root decomposition and then most algorithm and then solve one or two problems on most algorithm uh, there is prerequisite uh, prerequisite for this technique so i highly recommend you to first complete that series if you ha you already know that that's very good you have to, uh, you don't have to do that uh, after that we have centroid decomposition technique uh, in this technique what we do we create a, a centroid tree uh, uh, in which the height of the tree is not more than log n we design a new tree which uh, reserves some of the properties of the previous tree and the height of the new tree is not more than log n so uh, you can use that tree to answer queries in log n time and finally hld that is heavy light decomposition heavy light, uh, light decomposition is nothing but applying square root decom oh, sorry uh, applying segmentary to answer path queries uh, it can also be used to answer uh, yeah we can use it to answer path queries and i'll see whether we can use this to answer sub uh, subtree queries as well have a light decomposition what uh, what it does it decomposes uh, decomposes the whole tree in bunch of paths and uh, using that uh, we can apply uh, we also convert of course the whole tree into the linear array and then we apply segmentary to answer the queries the queries here answer take uh, log n square time log n factor because of uh, segmentary and uh, the next log n factor is because we have to change at most log n change to reach from node a to node b you will understand what i am saying once we start studying heavy light decomposition now if you see what kind of problems you can see uh, solve using centroid decomposition and heavy light decomposition and the rest of the techniques just look at this this is a problem this is in fact one of my favorite problems which you can solve using uh, centroid decomposition the problem is hard on code chef and the problem is uh, name is prime distance on tree one of the other reason that i like this problem is that just look at the uh, problem statement is only of two line but this but still the problem is hard now you are given a tree and ask some of the uh, some queries which we would see what are but important thing is that look at the tags if you see the tag says FFT and even the problem or uh, the editorial discuss uses FFT to solve this problem which is which is great because you get to learn a new thing but we would use centroid decomposition to solve this problem a problem which can be solved using FFT uh, particularly this problem not all problem which can solve which can be solved using FFT or uh, we can solve this problem using centroid decomposition that is great and this problem as you see is actually hard now the next problem is from code forces d1c the problem named seal the commander can also be solved using centroid decomposition once we have studied centroid, deco uh, centroid decomposition you would see this is the most basic problem you would see which can be solved using centroid decomposition and yet the problem is rated 2500 you would solve this problem as well now this one is also uh, which, uh, also a problem which can be solved using uh, centroid decomposition uh, centroid decomposition this one is div1 f problem and i haven't solved this problem yet and i do not know about the rating of it so i have no idea about the, how hard this problem can be because this is f problem from div1 so we will solve this problem uh, don't worry after that 
these are the problems which you can solve using HLD that is heavy light composition as you see this is the black white tree and uh, the problem is hard and you go to the tags you see a uh, tag H, uh, heavy light so this problem this problem again RR tree which is medium can be solved using heavy light composition this a hard problem dynamic GCD uh, this can be solved using heavy light decomposition again again a hard problem and then queries on tree I guess yeah query queries on tree again again a hard problem again can be solved using heavy light decomposition segment tree heavy light decomposition and so on and finally uh, just a second this one problem uh, factor tree which was there in uh, April long challenge div1 now this factor tree problem can be solved using Mohs algorithm. There are other problems that you can solve using Mohs algorithm and other techniques which I cannot show because the lecture is going to be too long and we would see all of these once we start the series. We would start the series with this technique Mohs algorithm on trees. Because uh, the prerequisite of this is already there in my playlist or uh, square root decomposition or SQRT. Or the playlist name sqrt so you can watch those lecture and then we will directly start from tree flattening or att or a tree transformation i guess i don't ac actually remember the correct name for that so we will start from mo's algorithm then we would go for much smaller and to bigger than centroid and then hld so this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching until the next video drops keep coding thank you